through. It'll come through to everything but your needle. Extension uh -huh. homemakers Joyce Durbin and Mary Pike use this high-tech embroidery machine under the watchful eye of Meade County Extension agent Jennifer Bridge to stitch messages on pillowcases like the ones they sent to wounded soldiers earlier this year. It is a message like tomorrow is a new day that they hope will provide inspiration and encouragement. You lay down at night and you put your head on your pillow and you have all these troubles on your mind. It's, a, it's an inspirational message that you kind of you know, lay down and you see. So we're trying to do it as kind of, you know, some people send cards. This is a lasting well beyond a card to have that pillowcase. Well, we were proud to contribute to tell our servicemen how much we appreciate what they've done for our country and for us and it, this was just our way to show that. Joyce Durbin and her husband Daryl, members of the local branch of the Christian Motorcycle Association, approached Jennifer Bridge about making pillowcases for wounded soldiers. The Durbins then delivered the pillowcases to Washington on their three-wheel Honda Goldwing during Rolling Thunder, an annual motorcycle event that promotes awareness of prisoners of war and those missing in action. It was the Durbin's first time to participate in Rolling Thunder, a moving experience for Daryl, a Vietnam veteran. It was, it was an emotional trip for me, uh, like I say, because I can relate to these wounded soldiers. You know, I've, I've been in a war zone and I, you don't necessarily know how they feel, but you can relate to their feelings because of being in the similar situations. Now that the pillowcases have been given to wounded soldiers, Joyce says the homemakers would now like to turn their attention to those in need close to home. There is a need here. Uh, we have a group at Fort Knox that um, brings some wounded in here and we also want to reach out to our community because we have uh, battered women and children that need some sort of security in their lives too. In all, Extension Homemakers made 28 pillowcases that were taken to the soldiers in Washington, and they say they will continue to work on pillowcases throughout the year. From the University of Kentucky College of Agriculture, I'm Jeff Franklin reporting.